Hi, you're listening to the number one film commentator on YouTube. My name is Von Fry, the scorned film critic of the interwebs. Today we are watching from 1993, Last Action Hero, directed by John McTiernan, written by Shane Black, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and probably some other people. So let's get into watching this, but first... If you need quality flatware, you know you got to impress the in-laws. How about black titanium flatware that's not cold pressed? It's actually forged. Nork.net. My buddies at Nork.net, give me a promo code to share with you guys, the three of you listening. That's Fry45 at Nork.net. K-N-O-R-K.net. 45% off the best flatware in the game. Also, I'm going to have my other offers and exclusive deals for my listeners slash viewers as the pinned comment on this video. So check that out. All right. So are we ready to begin watching? Because uh, this is on Stars, actually. This is not a Netflix commentary, but a Stars commentary track for Last Action Hero, as that's where it's presently streaming. I think I've seen this before on Netflix, but, you know, everything that was on Netflix eight years ago is now on 80 different services. So if you want to watch it on Stars, you're going to have to get to about 11 or 12 seconds in after that uh, rated whatever, right? It wasn't it this PG-13. I wasn't paying attention. And hit play now. We got the Columbia logo. Stars has really gotten in with Sony. Uh, I've seen a lot of Sony stuff head over to Stars. So, seems to be the streaming location for them. I'm curious if much of the movie's picking up because I usually have this up a little higher if I'm doing a commentary on Netflix. Siren Wailing. <coughs> Yeah, of course I needed to sneeze right there. The way the the film begins, it, there's this odd slanted whip to the picture. And that maybe clues you in that you're watching a movie, watching a movie. L look at the excessive amount of bullets on some of these guys. Oh yeah, I've got my pistol up too. I'm a girl... Real helicopter. This was a spared, no expense film. They expected this to do big money. Uh, at the time, action films were the dominant force in the box office, and you'll still have a a strictly action genre film uh, topping the box office, 1995, with uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance. I think that was uh, about the last time that happened. Because after that, it's Independence Day. You start to get uh, more of a genre mix, and then uh, superhero dominance now. They didn't really expect Jurassic Park to do as it wanted with this. Uh, Last Action Hero got a bad rap early. Uh, we have, uh, what's his name? Is this Frank McRae? The uh, shouty captain from 48 Hours. Great hero entrance for Arnold Schwarzenegger's Jack Slater. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger will also be playing himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger, in this. He's got, uh, what is that, rattlesnake boots. He's got the stogie. I kind of like his little thing. Boom, boom. It's a very self-aware send-up of the action genre. Maybe it's not quite a... Uh, a loony enough to be considered a spoof. This isn't Loaded Weapon 1, which I watched. I don't think I've mentioned. There's the badge. Take it. Tina Turner, guys. I have no idea why she's here. But boy, are there a lot of celebrity cameos in this movie. Not just the action genre, but... Movie tropes all together. Uh, really getting uh, doing here. You, are you a farmer? Here's some acres. I can't tell you how long it took me to understand that joke. Just crunches the walkie, pulls out the. Uh, I I think those are 
50 caliber action express desert eagles at this point in 93 i i could be wrong but is a giant hand cannon he calls it a cannon even uh the ripper up here oh boy i forgot this guy's name but he is uh perpetually weird looking he was the 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 killer in the first Hannibal Lecter film, Manhunter. Arnold Schwarzenegger looks like he's still got it here. Like, this is pretty close to prime Schwarzenegger. Excessive amount of police cars down there. <laughs> All right, we get it. There's... There's some kids up here, but you could just, you know, put up a roadblock. Oh, it must be near Christmas time. We got a little bit of a Santa sleigh motif going with the lights. Pretty good looking movie in 93 also. John McTiernan knew how to make a good looking film. And Shane Black, I mentioned writer. He, uh, what did he write or co-write *Lethal Weapon*? Uh, also, did uh, work in *Predator*. So there's a lot of uh, relationship between *Predator* and this. Jack Slater's got this great, like, uh, plays it, uh, play, keeps it real type thing about it, uh, but the world is, is funny, and that's what makes it interesting. I think that the comedy in this is hit or miss. I, people were not looking for action film tropes at the time that this came out. It, very much ahead of its time. I think that... If you'd done this movie in 2000, or, or the very late in the 90s, after Michael Bay has put his touches on the action genre, I think we would have had a different reception for this. It's a live grenade, right? Wrong. Ripper's definitely got some uh, whimsical contacts there. See some kind of like red dots around his eyes. Yellow iris. I mean, we assume that the kid stabbed him. I don't know how they did this shot. It, you have that axe coming in. Arnold's going down. But it crosses over with him so well. And I could see it looking worse today. And now here we are with the... Really the... The protagonist of the film, this kid, Danny. Uh, he's an action film buff. Uh, I think that this kid is like what one would think Arnold's typical fan would be. And it, it can't be that far off. Uh, you know? Maybe uh, ki kind of a pre-teen, te early teen... Really into the action flicks. Has been watching Arnold VHS for years. And so you feel like you're in part Danny. I was a, a bit younger than him, but I probably looked older. This guy, uh, Prosky here, he was the villain in... Thief, and boy was he a chilling villain in that movie. He just seemed like a no-nonsense, straightforward guy, and then all of a sudden just turned it on you. And I think that that a lot of that movie serves as a basis for Drive. So if you've seen Drive, you liked it, check out Thief. I have talked about it on the channel. Jack Slater 4. When you're watching this, you're thinking, oh, four movies in a series? Come on, only like Star Trek gets that much. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th. It becomes a reality, though. How many Marvel films are we into? We've had, oh, God, 
depending on your sources, at least nine Star Wars movies. Maybe even as many as 12, I think. Meredith Caprice. This is actually the first film for Bridget Wilson. Go on to Mary Pete Sampras, now going by Bridget Wilson. Sampras has not done a lot of acting lately. And she was quite young when she was up getting started here. Next film for her, Billy Madison, which I would frankly say is the best Adam Sandler movie. And I am doing some air quotes there on the Adam Sandler. Is that B. Arthur? You know what? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I haven't seen B. Arthur in a while. This kid, he daydreams of Arnold Schwarzenegger just getting into everything. I don't know. Surely that's not B. Arthur. Now, a lot of people get a little bit of a laugh out of this to be or not to be. Not to be. And, and he like blows something up, right? Or, or, or smokes or something. But I guess I don't get that joke. See, this kid, he sees, like, Jack Slater everywhere, and it's it's his form of escape. He lives in New York City, goes to the New York City public school system. It's got to be miserable, right? Single mom. Yeah, and then we go inside to the fantasy. Touching up the color like this digitally was quite the feat in its day. Uh, even a movie like Pleasantville gets big time accolades for effects for doing something like this. Now it's like a trailer voiceover. Don't really have trailer voiceovers now. Trailer voice is exclusive to uh, what is it? Honest trailers, which, if you ask me, is past. Uh, it's time, because we don't have trailer announcers now, so what's the point of the honest trailers acting like we have them? To be or not to be? Not to be. And then lights up and explodes. So I was kind of right, he does both. Uh, maybe not the type of TV a kid would have. Uh, I mean, that's even old by 1993 TV standards right there. I think his mom is uh, played by Mercedes Rule, who uh, uh, was the lady cop that was serving as the bait that took in Ajax in the Warriors You were at the movies again, weren't you? The crazy old guy's an accessory. <laughs> the kid is hooked on the movies. Just imagine if Danny had access to the internet in his pocket. The P word is promise. Oh, so when Ben Shapiro was talking about P word recently in the rap lyrics, it was promise, promise. This wet promise. Hey, he's getting bored and he's flipping through the channels. Is what you did. You got out the remote, you flipped through the channels. I know you kids want an Alexa this, but... Ah, forget it. I'm going to go to the movies anyway. 
I've found this scene really odd, how he seems to think someone's going to break into his apartment because someone's walking by. I mean, they they walked by, right? Don't you need to buzz in? It, isn't there, aren't there some security protocols to this stuff? How on earth did his hands get so torn up? We never saw him get into a fight with some kids at school, uh, thrown in the trash can like the never ending story. Yeah, we're taking a bit of a dark turn here. We have an intruder with a knife. There's handcuffs. Come on, what's this nonsense where you try to tempt the kid to use the knife? Even turn your back? What is this? Who? Oh, what kind of thief breaks into a house, gets involved with some some mild kidnapping here? By the way, I might be wrong, but I think that I think this guy's uh, was Roach in the the children under the stairs, or the people under the stairs. I might be wrong with that. Uh, you guys got nothing. No Funko Pop collectibles. Nothing. He's going to see what a real precinct is like, New York City style. Gets his experience with the cops here, paperwork, taking a statement. Screaming Mimi. I need to look that up. I've the only time I've really heard that it, it was like a, a, you had a nightmare, and that was mentioned in one of the seasons of American Horror Story. Oh, I gotta get into the theater. Guys, I don't know how theaters can afford to operate in New York City. I know the prices are exuberant. But this, to have a movie theater is a considerable amount of real estate in an incredibly expensive real estate location. And you see how empty this place is. Uh, was everything just so cheap in like the 70s, like Taxi Driver, you could have a theater with almost no one in it? You gotta have big hands to be a magician? Worked myself up to projectionist. That's that's a tough climb right there, guys. Yeah, uh, I don't want to hear your story. Uh, let's watch the movie. There, there is this weird turn here. Like we got that that close up shot of the door. The door has this giant medallion on it. It's kind of creepy. If, I would kind of expect more of an Art Deco thing out of uh, a theater instead of this almost Greek-like aesthetic, but there were kids' movies in the 90s that played quite a bit different than what you may think of as kids' films. There was a lot of kids hang out with the creature because of E.T. There were times in the 90s where it was like, the kid has... Uh, comes across a magical adult who uh, whisks them away to some fairy land, what, something like that, okay? There was a, a lot of that stuff happening. And this, it kind of plays into that tune, like, hey, you know, you've entered the magic theater, and, and the magical things are going to happen now. Now you're going to go into the movie. But... He's been going to this theater forever. And now all of a sudden he's going to get a magic ticket. Like, why tonight? By the way, I'm drinking A&W root beer. Recently went to an A&W. Uh, they seem to be in cahoots with Long John Silver. If you get fries, you get both their fries. But anyway, their burger was okay. It's... Tastes like a wannabe Wendy's, but I realize A and W's been like one of the oldest burger joint chains in the country. Re 
Retain your stub, sir. Okay. Like, this seems odd. Like, uh, you think about a, a movie like, uh, what, The Page Master? The kid, the kid always needs to wander into a new place, and it's, it's kooky, and there's some, some odd adult there who's alone, and they're going to give him some kind of magical trip, right? Franco Colombo film, recently deceased, I think a year ago. I don't think you're going to see Franco Colombo in this. We're coming hard with the hard rock, right? Jack Slater, four. Is this Metallica? Angry. Uh, there's Art Carney tied up. I uh, forgot this guy's name is intimidating him, but he's he's a somebody. What did he say? It was like his cousin or his uncle. They got him tied up, and yeah, there's going to be a weird way that he gets taken out, but... Uh, a couple of Oscar winners in this movie. Art Carney, uh, F. Murray Abraham's also here. Charles Dance is evidently younger than I thought he was in this movie. You know, I didn't notice all those tattoos on him before. Got a tattoo around the... On the hand, around the neck, and he doesn't even play basketball. That's right, Mr. Dent Benedict. I think Benedict works for this guy. You'd think that the older guy is surely the boss, right? But that's going to change. Oh, yeah, we got our kind of off-white suit. Yeah, looking spiffy. And that house has got to cost a lot of money. What's what? Um, it's that Malibu beachfront property right there. We're looking at thirty million ish. You're going to pay. I Hadn't the kids seen this movie? Or did he say that this was, that they're screening the print? Uh, yeah, maybe that's what it was. You, okay, so you get the, the prints in a few days ahead before the, the public premiere, the, before it's released to the public, typically on a Friday or Thursday at midnight or Thursday at 7, whatever they're doing now, right? And they'd have to check these prints to make sure that they they were okay. What if they weren't? Oh, hey, so yeah, there was a little bit of an issue. You'd probably just stick with it and just people would deal with it and they probably wouldn't even realize so much. Nowadays, it's like you... I think last I heard, they receive a hard drive. Now they probably receive a flash drive maybe they even get into a secure streaming site and then show the movie uh, from a projector that way 
Oh, yeah, that's right. I could try this uh, doorknob. He he uses the doorknob like he's never used one before. The smaller things make for the bigger laughs in this movie, or, or but maybe it's not necessarily laughs. Maybe it's like, hey, that's kind of cute. That's an interesting touch. Not laugh out loud funny. Oh, the mobs are joining forces. So I gotta wonder what Slater was the kid watching at first. Yeah, they, they may have said. Oh, he died. Sorry, Frank. Yeah, of course you have the the movie thing. You wave the hand over the eyes to, to close the eyelids when people die, right? I haven't seen that in a while. This is kind of funny. So there's a bomb countdown based on flipping these cards and look look at how so it's there's a line where it's played seriously for the people in the movie and then crazy shit happens so i think that works fairly well though to have the characters in the film think this is reality to them and not be total goofs. Yeah, see, I was right. He's fine. Oh, the guy in the... Yeah, well, if you're a cop and you talk about retiring or it's your first day on the job, if we know how long you've been on the job, you you're probably in trouble. Uh, I think I think this is uh ACDC playing. They're going to shoot the cop car to make it a turnstill. Excessive amount of guns here. Uh, Asian guy in the back. He was in Die Hard. I think he was Genghis Khan in uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure as well. Oh no, the, the ticket stub is acting up all of a sudden. He didn't do anything to activate it, whatever. I, I think we're looking at a CGI TNT there at, that was getting kicked around. Huh? What's this doing in the aisle? This kid, he was also in prehysteria. It was... Uh, it kind of worked a... Oh, Jurassic Park's making dinosaurs big in 93. Everybody in 93, put out your dinosaur movie. While also being in a movie that was uh, undercut due to Jurassic Park. Kind of a spiffy looking truck for this chase, isn't it? Look how Arnold doesn't even like turn around to shoot him. He's kind of like casually driving. Points the gun over his head backwards upside down. Try to shoot back at him. They've got TNT, they've got machine guns, they, no effort to reload. Everything explodes. You shoot a car at all, it explodes. That's movie cars for you. Now he's not even using his hands to drive. Sends the guy flying into the ice cream truck, which explodes for reasons. Ice that guy to cone a phrase. Oh boy, this is pre Mr. Freeze. The bad puns, the voice, the hard rock. This is happening. This is really happening. Hard rock didn't get played a lot in Arnold Schwarzenegger's action films. Raw deal, he's, he starts a gun sh shootout inside a car while he turns on the radio to. Rolling Stone's Satisfaction. That's about the extent of it, I can think. Uh, 
This is a Columbia picture, and he has Sony mini disc player in the car. Oh, real sh short barrel on that minigun. Oh, yeah, we're going to go into the L.A. River, right? That is the river. Is this... Can you drive in the river at will? Do you need permits? I mean, I always hear about traffic being a problem, and then you see this thing is just wide open, right? Oh, come on, that minivan's going to chase. I'm afraid that you have really banged up your Pontiac. Yeah, no way on earth he, he makes this jump, lands it, none of this stuff. But that's action movie physics. You got a CGI caravan just gone done a flip there, catch fire. Not the worst looking of effects. I, I mean, it doesn't look realistic, but it has a charm to it. All right, that is a Pontiac, right? If you know, comment below. Now what's going to happen here is he, he runs out of set. And he gets into another movie. And this... Yeah, Pontiac Bonneville. It kind of alerts Danny to the situation. And he tries to convince Jack Slater hey, that you're in a movie. He's like, huh? Cause to him, this is his life. His life is a movie. So what difference does that make? Like Acme Storage Center. Just like Jack Slater. He is Jack Slater. Come on, kid. Cross as many as you can. And he doesn't. He does not do as instructed. They've got the truck. What do they care? He turns to the boxes anyway. Oh, you're going to need a wire to pull a guy up that high. The truck catches fire before it can crash. And it appears to go into the set of a uh, George Michael video, I think. Uh, the, the girl that had the kind of like bike get up there in the back. I think I've seen that in George Michael video. Uh, we need to blow that guy up even. Leave no one for questioning. Los Angeles Police Department. And this is going to be so much cooler than the real police department. As they walk in, you get a quick look at, I think it's the T-1000 on the right and Sharon Stone on the left. And I was looking at the T-1000 when I was a kid. There's Sharon Stone on the left. And there's the T-1000. Oh! Yeah, look. Oh, oh my gosh. We got like this leather. I don't even know what she's wearing with the cones. Madonna-esque. Uh, this guy was... Uh, the guy who just said, hey, Slater, your wife's on the He was a security guard in Terminator 2 and the acting coach for Edward Furlong. Yeah, all the partners getting assigned are going to be like total opposites, kind of playing up the buddy cop dynamic. I wonder if you could really pull this off. You record the cassette of you just kind of agreeing, try to do a little bit of a playback.
How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice. If your last name is Practice, would you bother to be coming up with some kind of phrase to try to get people introduce yourself, get people's attention, remind everybody? He's going to be the crooked cop. That's F. Murray Abraham. Do you need to go by F? It just seems so weird to throw in an initial in places. Look at the weird chairs, even. The desks. The attire. This very odd open layout. So much traffic going by. So many people getting walked in and out. Lieutenant Decker. Come on, can't this guy be a captain? And this is very much what he did in 48 Hours, was a lot of yelling. And they're going to play that up even more. The Chamber of Commerce is doing cartwells in my Cocoa Factory. There's an animated cat, voiced by Danny DeVito. And it's pretty high quality animation. Yeah, of course he works here. He's a cop. He's one of our best men. He's only since been for a month. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're in a movie. What are you talking about, kid? Yeah, the kid knows so much about them that they're going to be like, hmm, this is a little weird. Going to have to make you his partner. Jack Slater won. Ah, so Jack Slater is Jack Slater Jr., actually, like Indiana Jones. And we got some volcano in the background there. Is that a, uh, what, what do they call it? The diorama? Di I, I, there was something I was watching where they made a joke about it. Repo Man, they call it diuretics commercial. Uh, but the um, Scientology ad. What's the name of that book? I think it starts with a D. It's, it had a cool title. Got to grill the kid for some information. But the kid saw the start of the movie, which you guys haven't, so he has a little bit of a leg up. Your new partner? Yeah, that's the kind of thing that happens in an action movie. The kid's not a cop, now he gets to be the partner. Oh, okay. Lift and go. Some of these costumes are a bit more Judge Dredd. My favorite second cousin, and that is big mistake. Yeah, that's what you're going to say, right? How'd you know? Hmm? He's going to use the action movie rules to his advantage. You can't shoot a kid in an action movie. Come on, you're the good guy. And then later he's like, wait, I'm... I'm the goofy sidekick. I'm totally expendable. No. Oh my gosh. Just no concern for any signs. Goes up the, the entrance. 
Angie Everhart working at a blockbuster dressed like that would not be a thing that would happen. Blockbuster video recently in the news, sort of. Oh, we've got Sylvester Stallone is in Terminator 2 instead. I think you can actually purchase that standee in, in some capacity. I have I think I've seen somebody use something like that up on uh, YouTube. Yeah, these these women are going to be in a blockbuster video, sure. See, everybody's got a 555 number. Some actual movies there, Boys in the Hood, Bugsy. Eight or nine million people in Los Angeles. Is that true still? Or are you guys not experiencing any growth? You ain't wrong, kid. Working with us undercover, of course. The point is there are no unattractive women here. Yeah, there's babes everywhere. Dang, who is the girl with the silver hoodie? I see a Mazda RX-7. Uh, that looks like a Callaway Corvette, Porsche 911, another Porsche 911 in the back. Dodge Stealth, more Porsche 911s, Mercedes SL... The ticket's magic. Uh, he didn't see the ticket sparkle and bring him into the movie, so I don't... I'm not so sure he could have understood that the ticket is responsible. He was kind of told about it, but he didn't see it happen. Yeah, I mean, it could be any number of things. They, hey... When you check the print, you had a special film projected on the screen, and it did this to us. You solve the entire case. You just drive around, point, and say, there's the bad guys. The bad guys are in there. Well, it's a good thing they have the gate open. Yeah, that cannot be a cheap house. Oh, forgot this guy's name. Professor. Uh, he went by Professor something in, uh, I think he was in WWE, WWF. He, he was a wrestler. He, he was uh, the, kind of like the, the, well, I would say the big bad, but the muscle in the perfect weapon. I'll be back. Ha, you didn't know I was going to say that, did you? That's what you always say. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Aware of it, right? Self-aware action film. I'm glad that Charles Dance got some resurgence with Game of Thrones popularity. Him dying in Alien 3 is kind of like how Dallas dies in the original Alien. Because you, you think someone's going to be sticking around longer, and then they just take him from you early. Or similar to Giovanni Verbisi in uh, Saving Private Ryan. It, looks, it looked a lot like he was telling the movie. He was telling the story, and then he wasn't. The 
dogs are doing tricks. That looks really convincing. Man, every time Arnold lights up a cigar, take a shot. Uh, why the threats? What, what has this guy done? Have you, you haven't seen him do anything, but you can't quite ca nail him. It's just kind of like you show up to his house and threaten him. Okay. I think there was a time when schmuck w was considered such an obscenity that it, you could get jail time for it. I think that had happened to Lenny Bruce. The kid has allowed Jack Slater to jump the script. No detective work needed. And then there's a a funeral. the The funeral thing always confused me. There's a mafia family funeral, but we we're not connected to how the guy died or who he was. But was it Leo the fart? We're gonna go up to Jack Slater's house. He's got these these odd lines about what's my what's the jacket doing on my elbow? It's wearing thin. Got it. That's my patience. Uh, oh, that's my little girl's car, that truck. Your ex-wife's not going to be here. She wasn't in the credits, but we it is introducing Cap uh, Meredith Caprice. Really? A, a kid named Skeezy is supposed to come to your house and you have to kiss him on site and that's your approved by the school program how do I go to the school oh of course she's going to say he's cute that's what the girl in the movie would do but they wouldn't do in reality no this is her first movie the kid, the kid kept track of the credits they assign you a fresh when he comes to the door, you kiss him. Oh, okay, so it was the sororities plan. Oh, I I don't think I've heard of that one either. I think she inherits the big mistake line from her dad. You ever you ever want your kid to inherit your line kind of it? That could be cool, couldn't it? You need another cigar? I'll be back, I know, yep. Uh, the period of reflection in the action movie. And the idea here is that he pulls the kid down with him. 
do you not want to see these Jack Slater movies? Like, I mean, that could be kind of fun, right? It'd be Last Action Hero without Danny hogging all the limelight. Very diehard like music right there too. Kill him through to pull them down off the roof. Yeah, we saw the flashback. How did you know all that? Crime stories, right? That's what that's what we're calling it. Oh, you're not skeezy. This guy's not wrong. He he calls him Toto, Alice in Wonderland, or Wizard of Oz. You got Dorothy going off. And so it's like the kid the kid is Dorothy, though maybe it's funnier to call him Toto. Look at the way how she's fighting this, like, ah, rah, like oh, rah, 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 really playing it up like one would in the action movie. Harm one hair on her head. Oh, pull the hair out. And to make matters worse, I'm going to tear it in half. Yeah, what difference does that make? You already pulled it out of her head. I am shocked that I have not talked about this movie on the channel. Maybe I've mentioned it on Instagram. There was a, a brief period where I was trying to do movie reviews to, on Instagram. It was where I thought maybe it'd be a good place to do it, and it turned out I was totally wrong. It turns out if you're not famous or a hot chick constantly booty posing, no one cares about your Instagram. Got to know why, how this kid knows so much. No, oh, he's just got to lie. I, I, I heard, yeah, in the statues, recording. I think we don't we see how many eyes this guy has as he flips about him has like a case full of eyes now look you lose an eye do you go eye patch do you go authentic looking glass eye sunglasses or comical eye these are the choices you have. Ah, oh, he's got the funny money. It burns in odd colors. You're going to use that as a smoke signal. I got to figure out what marked bills look like. Or You hear it mentioned in the action movies. You got to wonder, okay... So, if the people hand, you hand it to don't know they're marked, then they work just like real money. Uh, what's the problem? Ha. He told me it burns funny colors, and now, now he knows that there's a distress signal. That played up pretty conveniently. And, yeah, there she is just screaming... Big mistake. Yeah, now she's going to action her way through this. I'm thinking that they saw her do a little bit of fighting in this movie and thought, okay, we can do, we, we can get her for Mortal Kombat. That'll work. Surely she knows some, some karate, some kung fu, something, self defense course. She did. She beat up a bad guy in Last Action Hero. Yeah, that's Sonya Blade. 
kill me, and I'll kill him. Oh, will ya? Oh, well, here's Skeezy, right? Ah, oh, poor kid. Oh, how do you miss at that range? Because the bad guys always miss. Oh, <laughs> I don't even remember that part. He electrocutes the guy to get him to pull the trigger. Just these, like, r guitar riffs. The Everything getting just thrashed in this house from the shoddy. That would burn you so much to, to handle the end of that gun. It's my house and I'll wreck it if I want to. Wreck it if I want to. <laughs> Blows. You get this kind of like rewind. Yeah, sure. Sure you had a vest on underneath. Yeah, okay. Sure didn't look like it when he shot you. Hmm. Got got kind of smacked in the eye there. I'll look at that. Gotta catch the red eye. Not an awful line for this, things considering. Guy had a red eye on, right? Just a ridiculous sense here. I'm missing the best action. You gotta you gotta catch up on that girl's bike, right? Like like brand in the Goonies. Oh yeah, that would be a tough shot to try to get in focus. I can understand why it wasn't. Look how many shot I'm pretty sure that gun holds uh, nine rounds. Actually, the 50, it may be less than that. It might be seven, and then if you get like a 357, maybe it's more. Uh, either way, yeah. Chicken it is. Jack Slater did chicken, but but I'm this I'm the sidekick. I'm a comedy sidekick. I uh, consider also you're not in a car playing chicken, you're playing chicken in a bike. And now we're gonna we're gonna get, do a little bit of an ET move here. It was sort of a stop motion over the moon, as one would in ET, right? Yeah, you scared him pretty good, kid. Come on. If I had to guess, it that looked like a... Um, maybe a bit clean to be a green screen. Uh, green screen composite could be pretty good, 93. Take out my eye, and there we go. Uh, 
Oh, right. We have like these spoon arrangements of eyes. That's what he's got. Then a case. That's a real demonish looking eye there. Even the, the whites, it's kind of a purple gargoyle. Huh. Took this from the kid. It's the magic ticket. Oh, but it'll activate for him, huh? No problem. You can actually kind of see here where they're uh, trying to key on that skin tone. It's making it uh, a bit flickery. Still, I, I do like the the way the wall opened up. looked pretty sweet. Hold on, the, the guy had a cigar on him. I'm gonna need that. Uh, Bridget Wilson listed at 510, I believe. I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna reach over and grab my phone. Did she even do any movies as Bridget Wilson Sampras? I think possibly the last movie I know of her being in was The Wedding Planner. Five feet nine inches now. I swear it used to be 5'10". The kid took note of the license plate. So much... Getting a look at license plates in movies and being able to memorize them. What do we got here? Oh no, it's an explosive. Vengeance is mine. <laughs> that explosion at the end kind of... Kind of cartoonish, like it reminded me. Wasn't there an explosion like that at the end of uh, the last Boy Scout? Oh yeah, now he's got steam coming out of his ears. Clear out your desk. You're fired. Everybody stops what they're doing to take note, even if they're wearing hardly anything. Look at that, you got like a Bogart type in the background. I think that's a look-alike, but they uh, d digitally uh, manipulated the film. It, it, yeah, it looks kind of cool. You know, weirdly enough, uh, Forrest Gump gets so much credit for the inserting people in a movie bit. See, it's kind of a uh, non sequitur to be like, whose funeral are we going to? But, all right, so you're going to tell me he was shot yesterday. Um, don't remember seeing that happen. Oh, steep downgrade. Right by the highway. That's going to be noisy. Of course there's a ninja in the closet. 
Look at this. He just has a bunch of the same stuff. The same shirt. The same jacket. A shitload of Desert Eagles. The boots. Just He wears the same thing every day. That's what I do. I've heard that Albert Einstein would do that. Just buy the same clothes so that he wouldn't have to spend any time deciding what to wear. Theoretically, a cool idea. Spend no time deciding what you're going to wear today. Uh, however, the weather will often disagree with you. Come on, the sequel's got to get harder. I would be interested to know who they had in mind for Jack Slater's ex-wife. Die a young maid? Is that a term? You can't die till the grosses go down. Oh man, so cynical. Okay, so they tried to kill the crime boss, shot this guy instead, and then they're going to plant the explosive in him, and for comical reasons. Awful driving, everybody has to spin out around him. It's not the worst plot idea. It's... You put the bomb in the guy at the funeral to blow up everybody in attendance at the funeral, takes out the whole crime family. There may have actually been a dozen explosions in this movie already. Uh, Last Action Hero, record for explosions in a movie? Numbers? Possibly. Pass gas one last time, indeed, yep. I gotta wonder if they have palm trees on top of this Hyatt. Yeah, everyone's dressed so similar. Italian Mafia attire for all. Pulls his finger to trigger the explosive. It's that's a decent gag. Across the water. Whoa. No concern for parking. Saves the day or gets killed. Well, he probably saves the day. This kid is going to be very carefree with the Desert Eagle, you'll see here. Just, oh, hey, shooting in the air. Yeah, recoil, doesn't matter.
Oh, we both know there's no side entrance. How would you know? He said you killed Mo Zart. That's as it reads in the subtitle. Mo who? Zart. Making a reference to Amadeus. I like that. How do you get the carnival kind of, oh, in a body bag? If you don't drop that. Oh, the it, there is a thing here for Danny. He's he's a coward. He's a chicken. He he talks a big game and he doesn't back it up. Remember, he didn't he didn't take the knife from the guy who broke into his own house and taunted him. And here he is. He pulls the gun on uh, F. Murray Abraham on practice. And he just casually walks by and takes it from him. Don't explain too much, huh? And the kid went and done too much explaining. Then we're just going to have some wipes between these scenes, yeah? Riva Dirchi, what does that mean? Uh, was it Professor Tanaka? Was that his name? Over there driving? I don't remember what comes of him. I, I think he dies in a car crash in New York City. Uh, his character, I mean, this. There we go. Whiskers. Man, I just watched uh, the other night Junior for the first time, one of the few Arnold films I have not seen, and boy, that was kind of brutal, man. It was uh, quite the unfunny comedy of where a lot of a lot of the comedic efforts were Emma Thompson is accent prone for reasons. And we're going to have some pretty cool uh, action scene up here. We got this sweet elevator on the ex the outside of the building. I thought w I thought I saw a little bit of a cut misalignment there as that opened up and then Arnold got out like they uh narrowed it for time and it might have jarred the camera. It was just slightly off. This kid just kind of like waves guns around and stuff, right? That was not a Desert Eagle that he's holding, but I'm about certain he just goes around shooting a Desert Eagle to get people's attention. It's a movie. You'll just happen to know how this works, right? Does that baseball cap give Jack Slater a disguise? You'd wonder if all these people are in the crime family. They're in the area, right? They would all know who Jack Slater is, right? Arnold Schwarzenegger doing a voice there. Uh, 
I, I didn't really want a doctor when I was saying he needs a doctor. Look, an elephant. That's the best line you could give. Even the nuns got a gun. Bowling for Mafioso. They are so believing that he's still alive. He's, well, th this guy, he's going around making all this nonsense, but he's, he's screaming, hey, there's a voice in here, he's still alive. Yeah, I kind of like this water steps thing. This nice little fountain. I uh, wouldn't quite call that a swimming pool, though, would you? Man, that's a sweet jump onto this elevator. It hurt like the Dickens. Oh, yeah, we're going to open up some machine gun fire. Kind of, uh, a not, the, not the same gag, but you see a similar thing done next year in True Lies where the the missile goes through the the building and then hits the uh, helicopter on the other side, right? Oh boy, that is some carnage. That is so sweet looking. The helicopter, the glass breaking, everything. Of course, he's got a, a line that's a no-fly zone. Okay, if that's not Arnold Schwarzenegger, the stunt double sure did a good job of looking like him. And now here we're going to do the Die Hard Fall. Remember, this is John McTiernan. Oh, this would hurt. Man, they don't do anything with heights in movies anymore, do they? It's everybody's flying, green screen, and that's that. Oh, of course there's a tar pit to drop him into. Come on, lift him up and, and tear him off of that hook. He he Oh no, you don't want to you don't want to jump like that. Now you're in there with them. I mean that's some that's a desperation move right there. I don't know a whole lot about tar. Supposedly uh a dinosaur walked into it, now you can fish him out and it's uh somewhat preserved or something like that right or some animal okay but in what frequency are these tar pits is it maybe a little thicker than the movies leading on i 
It's kind of surprising that this bubble doesn't pop and and, and cause some kind of, of gag out of it. Instead, all you get is the big bubble. And then it goes down. Oh, okay. And then as they're relaxed, that's when you should get the big explosion. That would be the, the joke way to do that, right? It, it, real world explosion way. I mean, it's not like it's going to explode more after it it exploded. All right, Whitney. She just decided to bring him some more clothes. By the way, he did a heck of a job getting that tar off with just some napkins. The magic ticket. Now, if you're the movie villain bad guy, you have the magic ticket, it allows you to shift through worlds. Uh, do you, are you hesitant to be the first one to go through? Uh, would, it, would it kind of hurt to, to realize that you're a movie character? He doesn't seem to be too concerned about it. You turn a 360. This is PG-13, right? We just had a guy shot off camera. I think we'll see the body, but... You know, when someone dies in this movie, it is in a comical manner, by and large. He is so talking to the camera right there. Okay, how did you... How did the truck... Jump through the second story. Ooh, nice punch to the ribs. The solar plexus, right? Blowing up my ex-wife's house. Slap on the wrist. Daughter's black guy, he didn't like that so much. He <laughs> usually leaves a hole when I throw people. So convenient that... Him having the ticket, going through the other side, still leaving some room for the portal for Danny and Jack Slater. You can see the, the shift in the colors here indicates that's an effect shot. Even right there, it's like uh, 
the values have been pushed in a way. See how much grainier they are. I mean, nowadays, they can do a better job with composite shots, no doubt. New York. And now the action movie rules change. We've taken the action hero and put him in the real world. Checker cab. I don't believe those are in operation anymore, but they were quite prevalent. I'm going to shoot some gun, and we've got holes, but no explosion. Not a wood. Not one wood. My hand, it hurts. Yeah, you just punch through a window. Yeah, he smashed through cars' windows. Ask Goldberg about it. Oh, we're going to play chicken in the real world now, are we? Yeah, see, he mentioned how you you got to reload in the real world. That doesn't necessarily apply to the chicken. And this is an inter interesting shot, how you do get this car crash in one continuous shot there. Though, if you look, there's a cable pulling the cars. See that cable on the in the middle of the road, kind of snaking through? Checker cab has no airbags? Oh man, Professor Tanaka really got it bad. Did the checker cab really have no airbags? I hope we're going to mention Die Hard. Go check, make sure that the other guy died. And he's not there. Maybe he got out too, same time as Danny. Maybe he used the ticket. The bad guy, uh, as an evil hitman, right? Like his his gimmick is that he's the hitman, and he's going to use the ticket to get more to gather more forces to take out Jack Slater. It's kind of a more interesting concept for late in the movie. That one would think that maybe it would be stronger earlier. A whole lot of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's past villains coming together. I slept. Yeah, of course he did. Come on, you had this magic ticket all this time and it's never done anything magical for you? You give it to Danny and now he can go see Jack Slater? Had it all this time, never use it. So, evidently, tearing it in half activates it. And from that point forward, you you just don't know the rules. It's like, uh, 
it, it can become magical when near any wall. <sighs> or five minutes into Jack Slater 4. Jack Slater has to come to grips with not being real. Hey, I just found out I'm imaginary. It, there are some like introspective touches here. How he, uh, I, I like when he talks to, to the kids. Oh, you turn him into a wimp. Oh, these guys reflecting on being in movies and just, oh, my, my whole life has just been watching these movies. And then Danny will realize that the other half of the ticket is in the uh, kind of like the recycle bin for the repository for the tickets as it was put away. But would that end up have any powers? Uh, things get so sketchy when you introduce powers in something, right? Nine million kids out there with guns, really? And you know, you wish I had more friends? Well, I have an imaginary friend, theoretically. What's Head Crusher? Bloodthirst? Just trying to sound like action movies? Is that what we're going for? Want to have a party? That is the term they use. How old are you? Forget it. Oh, is that... <laughs> Yeah, this is a different world. Everybody's bundled up, cold. It's not good-looking people everywhere. Do you want to take a homeless guy's shoes? Do homeless guys have awesome shoes worth jacking? It's going to come to find that the law enforcement's different in the real world, too. Uh, kind of a humorous scene coming about here. Really, like, nothing happened. There's no screaming. No sirens. Kind of like this. Ah, uh, poor guy here just working at the garage. Just a theory. I mean, that's a bad way to go, right? You didn't do anything, you don't see it coming, and it's... Ooh, I, kinda, I can see how this could rub people the wrong way. I just shot the man. 
I did it on purpose. And no one seems to care. Welcome to the real world. Well, of course, everybody investigates this stuff after the fact. Oh, Jack Slater comes and stays at my place and I have to sleep on the couch? You're imaginary. Do you need to sleep? Good morning. Good to see you. What <laughs> Man, such a small little breakfast nook. You didn't tell me you had no friends. Your business going to the movies at midnight. You knew your mother would be worried. You turned into a wimp. Ugh. Never talked to a woman before. It's neat. Neat is not a great word to be saying. Um, it. I, I don't hear a lot of things described well as neat. Man, this is a cramped area, isn't it? That is the tiniest table. Usually things are, are oversized in movies, right? A bigger area to put the more cameras and equipment. Okay, so you say there's 8 million people in New York City, 8 or 9 million in Los Angeles. I believe New York City has a higher population. Well, he's, he's hearing classical music for the first time. He's always, he's only ever heard rock music. Wow. And now he has changed his soundtrack. Yeah, I'll just get up somewhere high and, uh, th yeah, then we'll be able to find him. Oh, he is kind of right. He does tend to catch people. You mean other movies? Yeah, this is where things get kind of an interesting turn, where not only does he come to the real world, he he brings more movie uh baddies out is that Bram Stoker's Dracula it's kind of like oh what what villainous creatures from other movies can I use to my advantage you know of course you go for what you have the rights to you had the ripper this ripper character uh, of the Jack Slater property so you're going to bring him back but he could have put together his own monster squad. Arnold Schwarzenegger. We're going to take out the real Jacks later. There's no way they would have a Slater 4 red carpet premiere after Danny had the opportunity to check the print. I mean, they would they would have had to have gotten the film in quite ahead of time. Uh, 
you know, I say there's no way, but maybe maybe in the early 90s, there was maybe more of a possibility of it. Maybe they did ship the stuff out sooner. But that red carpet premiere is usually some some days ahead. I mean, I don't know. It could be real hit or miss. I've seen some movies a month before they come out theaters, maybe even more than that. So I guess it could happen. Yeah, that uh, walking across the car is not so easy in the real world. Still manages to tear that door off. Uh, is that Jason and the Argonauts? See, he could have potentially gotten a, a pretty eclectic group of uh, villains together. And there's Arnold Schwarzenegger in the Hummer. I think he had the first civilian Hummer in the U.S. And Maria Shriver at the height of her powers. Little Richard is here for reasons. Uh, Lisa Gibbons? Gibson? Is Little Richard still alive? See, I thought I heard he died, but it's got to be really recent. May. He died in May. Okay, man. We killed less people, 48 compared to the 119 in the last one. Maria Shriver. Why are we going to Maria Shriver while looking at him? I, Maria Shriver lists at 5'11", and yet she seems to be short compared to everybody else in the scene. Oh, look, it's the Ripper from the last movie. Yeah, he's in costume. Uh, I thought I might kill someone. Uh, I'm trying to remember the actor's name. Isn't it, isn't it Tom? I'm thinking Tom. <sighs> Tom Noonan. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, see, now he, there he is, not in character. And his agent has him mixed up with the one in the character. Jim Belushi's here because he was in Red Heat with Arnold. So we do see a lot of people that have been with Arnold before. I like the way how he assembles an axe. That's, and it, it looks really sweet too. Anyone cosplay as the Ripper? Everything clicks in place. Damon Wayans, Chevy Chase, Jean Claude Van Damme.
Interesting that Van Dam's here, you know, as he had left the set of McTiernan's Predator, right? Did he kill his agent and put on his jacket? Stab him in the back with that axe, and that's why it's got the slash in it. MC Hammer. Hey, there was a good couple of weeks where he was the biggest thing in the world, guys. Can't touch this. Boom, doom, 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 doom. I don't think he I don't think Ripper needs the jacket. He's already got it with the raincoat. He can put the axe under that. Good balcony seat. Everybody down. Get down. Do it. Do it now. Come on. Arnold tackles Arnold. So the mayhem, the guy the guy pulls up the gun in the theater and you, and you have real Arnold gets to be the action hero, huh? Tackling the guy. Man, that is a quite a convincing looking uh two actors in one shot move they're even the bodies are crossing over each other some resourcefulness from Danny right there using that pole firehouse escape type move you brought me nothing but pain <laughs> Oh, look, the rain has kicked in. They all think they're seeing Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? So there you go. A similar situation. Has Jack learned anything different? Inflatable Jack Slater looks pretty sweet. I've seen other like big inflatable type items in uh, in movies for a a Manhattan premiere. Uh, the Hard Way had like a giant uh, Michael J. Fox character. Skip to the end. Where does this red uh, smoke and fog like come from? That's kind of kind of out there. Tom Noonan's a tall guy. He's like six seven. Fake out. Oh, you're going to need a jump, and there we go. However, he's got the raincoat, he's got he's got the rain boots. He he might be okay. He's wearing he's wearing the the gloves. I mean, he may be some resist have some resistance to this uh, electricity. I 
Yeah, you gave him that line there, the hell you will. I, I, mm, I guess as he gets in reality, he has to have more reality-based lines, huh? How Danny managed to grab that gargoyle light, I have no idea. Come on, go do it. There is no way he can make this... He needs to get turned upright and then maybe jump to him. And even then, we're, we're asking for trouble. And swings him up to the rooftop. I guess being the action hero, oh, even though his gun doesn't explode a car, he still has action hero strength, huh? Bit of a lamp lampshade hanging move there. This hero stuff has its limits. Well, uh, it doesn't seem like it, right? Yeah, we know it was outlandish, so let's call attention to it. And uh, Benedict just so happens to be on the roof shooting at him. You want Dracula? Dracula, hang on. Well, he never gets him Dracula. I'll fetch him. King Kong never gets King Kong involved. Are those both universal properties? He mentions Hannibal Lecter. As I said, he had Tom Noonan there. Uh, who wasn't Hannibal Lecter, but he was... Uh, I forgot what they call this guy, but... You forgot to reload the gun, that's right. I left one chamber empty on purpose. Oh, no. Now, Danny does a bit of a fake-out type thing here. He just starts crying. Uh, huh, huh, huh. But, but he fakes out the villain. It seems like this is... This is where Danny has made his shift. I mean, that's what, a 45 to the ch chest? Pretty centered? It's probably fatal shot. The ticket just doesn't work. For reasons. But... Killing him blew up the ticket. It's not like he shot the ticket. Oh, but it'll land at the seventh seal with the recently departed Max von Sydow. And right here is, uh, oh, gosh sake. How can I forget his name? Uh, Ian Mc... Ian McKellen. 
who he did not play death in the movie nor does he look like the character uh who is really much what uh, death of Bill and Ted's bogus journey looks like who I think is back for uh, Bill and Ted face the music I the anyways the modeling of that uh, appearance but I don't think people knew who Ian McKellen was at the time of this movie in 93 An ambulance isn't going to work, huh? we got to get him to the movies. Oh, of course, we got a, a young teen over here. We're, he's going to have to drive in a movie, right? That's the way we got to do it. Ian McKellen might have been born 70 years old. And look, taps on the shoulder, then starts coughing. So anybody he touches, just touch a death, huh? Guy was smoking, wasn't he? Yeah, you could smoke in the movies back in 93, kids. I do like Danny's solution here. You don't get him to the hospital. You get him back in the movies where, as the good guy, he'll be perfectly fine. And they do laugh that off. There's the box where the ticket ended up. Okay, I, I can kind of understand where his logic's at. Okay, the other, the other half of the ticket... That's Slater four, right? I think I think I saw four there. I thought he was shot markedly higher up than where he's got that gauze. You can't have them. Kid recognizes death. Of course he's not on the list. He's a fictional character. Though you are, Daniel. Ooh. You die a grandfather, so you're going to get laid. That's the implication. Not very bright, if I were you. Really, so why, how does death know about the ticket? I know, not until the grosses go down. Does he even understand what that means? I would, I mean, would Jack Slater understand? You need to get the projector going. Come on. And 
there's not any film in there. So the, I swear the film never started for him to be able to interact with it. Yeah, very wishy-washy with the rule set, Last Action Hero. You can see the... The shot reverse here with Danny's side is showing the portal through with the theater. Can't imagine here in real life. You need you need to grow up. All this stuff, right? You're real to me. It's still real to me. You got to take care of your mother for me. Oh, the, yeah, the, yeah, some of those lines there, a little questionable. The pimples, the pre, I don't even want to say it on YouTube. Oh no, the portal's going. You want a doctor? I'm a doctor. And this is kind of funny. Uh, Danny is curious if, if he survives. Some kind of joke? I wouldn't even call this a flesh wound. <laughs> eh, just get him back up. Okay, let's go. Punches the glass. Yeah, still working. You can put, you break glass without it hurting. He was fired. What? He wasn't reinstated by the time that he got out of the movie. Shut up. See, there's a wish fulfillment to this movie. Like, okay, you, the kids who want to be like Arnold Schwarzenegger, okay, the kids get to be in the movie with the Arnold Schwarzenegger type thing. Yeah, this will be a huge hit. And it didn't really turn out. I think it made its money back, but it it didn't uh, go so great. And then Arnold Schwarzenegger's last real hurrah, the last great Arnold movie, True Lies, right after this. So th this didn't kill off Arnold's box office potential. But, uh, you know, getting older, the action movies starting to fade uh, to other things. Superhero stuff was coming. Uh, the dinosaurs were coming. You know, other things. Rides off into the sunset... So guys, Last Action Hero, uh, I'm a little conflicted in saying whether or not it's uh, it's good or not. Uh, I would I'd probably say that this is like a two and a half star out of four. Uh, let me know what you think. Comments below. Let me. What should I be doing commentary on next? Till next time. Adios.